Hi, I'm Dave. I'm one of the engineers here at Regal UK. I'm going to be demonstrating the correct use of this Regal 815 TG spectrum analyzer together with the Regal VSWR bridge in order to test a makeshift antenna. So this is a simple rubber duck type antenna. The problem with this procedure is people will very often simply affix the rubber duck antenna straight onto the bridge and lo and behold it appears to produce a very good trace. That antenna shows a resonance at about 141 megahertz. Now this is an incorrect procedure for testing a rubber duck antenna. You can see if I simply put my hand on the edge of the analyzer there then the trace of resonance shifts down by about 8 megahertz. If I take my hand away again it shifts back up again. There's clearly something wrong with this test setup. So what we need to do is use the correct procedure. So instead of plugging the antenna directly into the analyzer, I'm going to use this remote test setup. I simply have a ballon, a piece of coax, which I'm going to plug instead into the Regal VB1020 VSWR bridge. Now you can see initially there is no resonant peak what I'm now going to do is to attach a proper ground plane to the antenna system. So all I've done is to clip a piece of resonant wire onto the antenna system. Now if we look at the trace you can see that there's a very clear resonance. But the resonance again is at about 135 megahertz instead of 141. And that is the accurate resonance for that antenna. If I take the ground plane away there's no resonance whatsoever in that frequency range. If I add the ground plane back in again we see a correct trace. So what this tells us is that you must test an antenna using its own antenna system. So when you attach the ground plane you'll get the correct results.